No. I want to go in here. Okay, as I thought. It, there's probably new dialogue, because the, uh... Okay, that's a little laggy. Don't love that. But there's probably new dialogue, because the photographer's not here anymore. A, I formulate medicine for each one of my customers according to their symptoms. I've even recently started carrying Eastern medicine, which has grown in popularity. Innovation is important when it comes to business. Anything new? Eh. Uh... Okay. Do I? You know, I don't actually care that much. I'm not gonna buy them. Oof. I try finding things with hidden value and get my hands on them for a reasonable price. The thrill of this is something you can, can't experience that easily in other occupations. To be honest though, I'm still an amateur at this myself. No matter how carefully I choose what to buy, more than half of what I get turns out to be junk. Yeah, I think there's just too many sprites in this area. Oh? My heart always skips a beat every time I see her pick one up. Since these are the goods we're supposed to be selling, she should be more careful with them. Oh? Well, that's good of him. It does sound like, hmm. Okay, we have everything in there. Already. Instead of just staring at things all the time, maybe I should try buying something for once. We haven't gotten any foreign books in recently. It probably has something to do with all these restrictions put into effect by the army. Just how long does the army intend to blockade at the border? Because of all this, my merchandise, which would be coming from the Empire, hasn't arrived. Whatever they're doing, it isn't helping my business, that's for sure. Nothing new there. Ever since this girl started selling her sweets, the sales of her sponge cake have really started taking off. And now I found myself coming to shop here just so I can get a glimpse of her smile. Well, that's kind of sweet. At first, I was worried about how I was going to run the store. But then things finally started to sell little by little. So I guess the best thing I can do is give my customer service with a smile. Oh? Well, I know how to make this, but I don't have one. Here's poison and a lot of HP. But it's fairly expensive. Have not eaten sponge cake yet. Hmm. This marketplace is much more lively than I could have ever imagined. It was definitely worth seeing. Alright then, it looks like it's time to hit up the next shop. All this shopping is why I came to, with my husband on his pilgrimage. No, I already got that. I don't want to talk to you anymore! My wife is shopping like a crazy woman. If I don't intervene, she'll never stop shopping. Money is not the issue here. It's just I wish my wife would practice a little bit of self-control. I have a hard time getting the new brands I ordered from the Royal City. But on top of that, merchandise is in short supply. I guess the only thing left to do is try my hand at getting some, or making some original clothes. Let's see how that goes. Have these. Actually, um, not that fun. Let's check this. Uh, I did get back the stuff that was on what's his name. So you know that's nice. That's something I will not need to worry about in the future.
Cabbage, cabbage. That's what mom asked me to pick up for her. And a duck. Delicious, delicious duck. But I'm too scared to talk to people I don't know. That's why I've been pacing in front of the store like this. Meat goes on sale for a limited time after 3 o'clock this afternoon. I need to find a place to camp out near the store until then. Today I'm making a dish with meat. Would I grill a steak or should I make some stew? I just can't decide. It's not easy trying to think of what to do about the menu every day. Those same merchants are said to like an atmosphere of freedom. And for that reason alone, there was a time when each did as they liked. But the previous mayor, and now his daughter, have started bringing all the merchants together. Uh, okay. Have a bit of everything there. Ugh, oh, I need to get out of this market. It may not look like it, but I run the kitchen at the mayor's residence. And though I can't cook anything like the anteros, I can still whip up a decent meal. The mayor has been so busy recently, so I need to at least get her to take in some nourishment. Oh. In the future, our dream is to open a huge food market together. They'll have the freshest foods at the lowest prices in town, all the time! Doesn't that sound like the kind of food market you'd shop at? And with the way distribution has changed thanks to the advent of airliners, I'm sure we can make our dream a reality. Okay, don't have everything in here. Don't necessarily need everything in here. Uh. Hmm. Wait, I haven't talked to you. I'd really like to leave my father's business deals up to Simon, but he still lacks understanding of the business world. And it would be a perfect time for Borden to take advantage of the situation. But I guess if I'm overwhelmed, I can get Simon to help me out. Okay, now we can get out of this terrible laggy place. Okay, there we go. Seriously though, in the area that is like, this has got to be four times as large as in there, right? And this area doesn't lag, so the only thing that makes sense is that was just overloaded with sprites. To me, at least. Oh, a pianist. I bet that this is where... Uh, I bet that this is where um, our bard companion is going to end up. Okay, then. Hmm. Times certainly have changed, though. Now tourists from the Empire come to Bose to buy our goods. I'm just not sure how I feel about that. I just keep thinking about all the men and women who were lost to us during the war. People who will never come back. Okay. Just about every member of the staff here was handpicked specifically by her. Though I'm the exception, I guess. I came because I wanted to. No, no. I had my eye on this for a long, long time now. And you're simply not giving my offer the consideration you should. Try to look at the broader picture here. After this great piece to... This is a great piece to offer for after the airships are running again, isn't it? No, no, I understand your feelings. So much that it hurts. But we have a quota to meet. Dear me, dear me. With the airships grounded, I'm finding it impossible to get my wine shipments. For the moment, I suppose we can make do with what's in the cellar. But our stock won't last forever. 
I hope the airships begin running again soon. Cooking is an art, and a culture! Cooking is culture. Uh, it requires so much creativity. As anything else, of course. And is just as resistant to compromise. The head chef here is extremely strict. He's a real kitchen nightmare. Uh, but he's known as a preeminent chef in all of liberal. And this is not a title here in lightly. His techniques and flavors are second to none. The two of us have been waiting to come here forever now. We worked a little touches off. Pardon my Erbonian. Uh, so Erbonia is like France then? Because I've got more of a German vibe from it. But you know, well, Prussia. Prussian, really. Uh, but anyway. I wore my best outfit to come here, but I hope I don't seem overdressed. I'll need to be careful not to drop any of my tableware. The old market was quite bare bones. Just some stalls lined up in a vacant field. A common flea market! But the merchants back then were made of tougher stuff than they are today. There was the mayor's family, influential as everything, and all the traders of the Trino and Borden households. They were all shared in that common flea market, and worked their way up to what they are today. It is it true that all operation of airships has been halted? I suppose I have no choice but to prolong my vacation then. And since there's nothing I can do about it, why worry? I might as well enjoy it while I can. I can shop and eat as I wish. I can spread my capitalist wings and fly. Okay, well, um, I'm just not going to get into that can of worms. It's not just the food here that's top quality, but the wait staff and service as well. Just look around. You can see signs of the owner's dedication in every last detail. It appears that nobody here in the landing port really knows what's going on either. I wonder if the airliner had some sort of accident. It seems that the corporation still hasn't received any word from the army. And the transportation of goods related to the market has pretty much become stagnant. We're receiving all kinds of complaints from everywhere now because of this. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Oh? I mean, I should think so. Like, their business was grounded to a halt by the army, so... We get freighters arriving from the Empire about once a week. They're mainly used to carry goods to the market. Also, their intimidating design is typical of what I expect from the Empire. They say, e they said even they have no idea when flights will resume. I guess all I can do is sit here and wait. Yeah, honestly, I feel like someone should, someone should tell the army to clean up this mess. Cause like, grinding a halt, trade to a halt in the entire region, even for a serious incident like this, that is not something that. Like, someone is going to get in a lot of shit for that if it goes on for long. Uh, I guess we'll just have to deal with it then. Waiting like this. It seems the development of Oracle Arts was far superior before the Great Collapse. We're still discovering Oracle relics from that era. That's what people mean when they say they've unearthed an artifact. Hmm. 
Mirano of the Trino household is kind of like the vice mayor, except she also kind of runs the place all by herself. The Borden household is pretty influential too, sure, but Miss Mirano is the real shadow mayor here, no doubt. Damn that, Nigel! We always come together and work side by side. I can't believe he'd betray me like that! He's the one who signed the papers to give me a loan when I first started up this business, for goodness sake. And then he cheated his way up to the top. What the hell, Nigel? What the hell, I say? I wonder what that's about. Our boss, now he takes pride in the fact that the people tend to stick around for a long time when they come here. I'm guessing it's probably because a lot of people use this place for business meetings. Or maybe it's just because it's such a half-assed business. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh... I've got a table reserved at the Antaros restaurant today. I've been saving up for this day for a long time now. I'm so excited. I've got to hurry up and take care of my work around here. No one in here. No one in here. Hmm. No, that was that was the entrance. Whenever we greet guests, we do so with utmost sincerity. It, our motto is, service always comes with a smile. Furthermore, we should always work to improve it. Oh? Come on, Missy, I'm begging you. Please let us in. If I could just get a comment from the mayor, I'd be on my merry little way. Yep, that's right. And of course I'd need a photograph, too. I'm sure the mayor would be flattered, but she's extremely busy. I'm going to have to ask all those without an appointment to leave. I hope you can understand the situation. Come on, please! For an incident this huge, we hardly know anything about the circumstances surrounding it. And I have an obligation to inform my readers. Yeah, what about the readers? We can probably reach double the number if we have the mayor grace the cover. She's said to be very beautiful after all. D Dorothy, why do you have to go and say something like that? But huh? But it was you who said the same thing, remember? You said we didn't have any news to go on. If we didn't. We could lure customers to buy the magazine by featuring. <laughs> oh, I love this. Well, aren't you two a couple of interesting visitors? I'll make sure to tell Mayor Maybell about the details of our conversation. At the moment, however, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Please. Leave. Um. <laughs> Poor Dorothy. Okay, so I'm not actually quite ready to go into the mayor's house yet. I wasn't really expecting to get a cutscene outside. Oh, it's you, Bracers, again. Did you just return from the hacking gate? Uh, something like that. So, those two who you just turned away. A bunch of unscrupulous individuals. Those miscreants said they planned to use the mayor to make some quick Mira. But as long as I'm here to protect my mistress, I won't allow that to happen. <laughs> yeah. Seems like it. Deadly serious. 
that's because it's my duty. Anyway, why don't you all come inside? The mayor is waiting for you. Uh, and we will, uh, eventually. I hear that Mr. Trino was riding that airship that went missing. I know he's my dad's business rival, but he's still Mirano's father. I'm really worried about him. I just can't believe Mr. Trina was on that airliner. No matter how much of a rival he is, we've still known him for a long time. I hope he's safe. Trino seems to have been on board the airliner that went Yeah, okay. Hmm. But Mirana's glare was enough to set me straight. It's difficult for me to tell that father and daughter are on good terms or not. Tell if, I guess? I think I... Think I, I think I... A word there. Um... Some people think that Mirano and the husband are on bad terms with each other. But that's not the case. They're just competitive, that's all. I don't think people should expect anything less from... Mirano is his daughter, after all. I know it seems like Mirano is complaining as she goes about taking on her father's work. But that's just her way of showing compassion. I really appreciate her being considerate at a time like this. If you head south from Bose, you'll arrive at the north shore of Valera Lake. Valera Lake is, as you know, the massive body of water in the center of the kingdom. And fish of all kinds swim in there. <laughs> you should steer clear from talking to my husband. Get him started and he'll just fill your ear with rubbish. Those some harsh words you have there. Pretty much any of the merchants in Bose have their starting point in the market. First you start in the market, which is subsidized by the city. Then after getting experience, you're able to get approval to start your own store. And that's the reason that people have come from here for far and wide to become merchants. Okay, uh, I don't have that. <laughs> That's really expensive. Don't have that either. Don't, uh, don't have that. Okay, well, let's, um... No, I didn't want to. Let's do that. Wait. Damn it! Okay, you know what? There. Uh. That is still not enough to actually buy that weapon. <laughs> okay, well, you know. I'm a lot closer now. After I visit the guild, maybe I will be able to. Uh, I have one of everything. And... 50. So I need... I'm actually not that far off. I'm actually not that far off. 80 and 80. My boss is way too trusting of others. In any case, it's impossible to get along for long in the business world like that. Which is why I should be running the shop. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Now 
The new boss is a pain in the behind about orders and all kinds of things. In comparison, my old boss gave me the freedom to do all kinds of stuff. Ever since my husband opened his business, he's had more time at home as well. Of course, he keeps the books and manages his goods at home, too. When he was in the army, he only managed to get home about once a week. Opening a store hasn't been all bad at all. Mm. My dad pleases me more now than he ever did when he was in the army. I like the way uh, my dad is now. Before, he used to get angry all the time. Yeah, sounds like getting out of the army was not the right call. Uh... Sister Rosa is extremely serious and dedicated. <laughs> I think it would do her some good, though, if she wasn't so uptight. The local tone of people of Bose carries an air of freedom. While doctrine and commandments are important, I'd like this church to be more involved in the region. Oh, wait... Father Holstein's a man of his word and has a magnetic personality about him. But I have trouble dealing with the pace at which he does things. 